This video shows an unexpected encounter I had with carburetor icing. My instructor and I are flying from Hayward to Merced under IFR. Carburetor icing typically happens in cold, moist environments, but it can happen rarely at higher temperatures. Note the temperature and dew point on the Merced weather. In the following segment, we begin a descent for the localizer back course approach at Merced. Upon reaching 3,500 feet, the engine becomes noticeably rough. This is difficult to hear on the video, but both of us could hear the engine vibrating differently, and it made me feel very uncomfortable. At number 62209er, Rocky Park, change with battery frequency approved, good day. Frequency approved, 209er, good day. Do you feel that? Yeah. You want to fix it? <laughs> My first instinct is to enrich the mixture. Huh. Oh. Still running rough. We're out of going distance in Modesto. You want to divert? No. I want you to run a checklist. I want me to try troubleshooting it. The only thing I have is an engine failure checklist. We gotta turn to the field. Oh, we're good. We're on our checklist. You tried the mixture, okay. Have you done car pee? Have you done tanks? Have you tried the max? I turned the carburetor to the of course. On. That's our check systems. What's a rough running checklist, right? Just go through everything, see if we can troubleshoot the problem. We still got to fly our course, fly our airplane. I do a magneto check, which looked fine. RP seems to be helping so far. Okay. Well, we'll keep it on for a bit. Buy the clearance. It turns out troubleshooting your engine is difficult while flying an instrument approach. Buy the clearance. And you busted. Altitude. Come on. Leave on. Sounds good, right? Could have been a little icing. How? Carburetor icing didn't seem likely over the dry central valley at nearly 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but it just goes to show you that under the right conditions, carburetor icing can happen when you least expect it. Let's go another 30 seconds to a minute with it on. It sounded like it was better, but we don't want to leave it on for too long. We'll, we'll see if that fixes our problem. I think both times I've had carbides, it's been with you. <laughs> no need to panic, right? Engine's still working. Let's go through the stuff that we know will fix it pretty fast. Carb heat's always number one. Mixture's usually number two. My next suspects would be uh, a mag issue, which are much less likely. Okay, that got my heart rate going. Um, We also had Turlock at 11 o'clock and about two miles, so I wasn't super worried either. If you want to look outside, it's right there. We're 11 o'clock, two miles. Got it. And plenty of fields. I thought this was a fantastic learning experience for me, and it emphasized how important it is to just remain calm and follow your troubleshooting procedures.